Wait, we got a special 69 Camaro. You're going to want to stick around and watch this one. This is a pro-built car by Detroit Speed. You've all heard of them. They sell all the performance parts for these muscle cars. They actually built this car. There are 350 pictures on their website documenting step-by-step. Step. That's where you get a real appreciation for what goes into one of these cars. All the custom fabrication. I mean, they took it down to a bare shell and rebuilt it and made it better than it ever was. And it was commissioned by Dale Jr. Uh, there was a Dale Jr. hot rod tour. This went on a tour around the country in a big fancy racing rig along with Dale Jr.'s race car. Uh, and that's why this was built. Heinz Ketchup sponsored it, so they were the ones pumping money into it. Uh, Dale Jr. Uh, helped uh, come up with the, uh, you know, the plan for the car, how it was going to look, and that sort of thing. Detroit Speed uh, put a lot of extra effort into it because this was going to be showing off their work. Matter of fact, Detroit Speed made a brochure specifically for this car. And this is this brochure is on this car in particular, which I think is really cool. Uh, this car was also featured on the cover of Camaro Performers magazine. And then, of course, there's an article inside. And then there's another multi-page article in Chevy Rumble magazine. Uh, we got a dyno sheet. We got a book of documentation here. I'm telling you, this is quality. Every bit of it, the fit, finish, and function, this is high end. This is, this is what you really want. Uh, Mast Motors, LS3 under there, well over 500 horsepower. Tremec 5-speed, custom rear end, all Detroit speed uh, chassis. Uh, Detroit speed through like all of their parts on here, from the electric headlight doors to the wiper motor, the suspension, the headers. Uh, they threw it all on there. You can go to volocars.com. There's a lot of information and pictures uh, of this car. And that's also where you'll find a price tag, not only on this one, but every car we offer for sale, along with a monthly finance option. Now there's also a buy it now button. If there's a car you get really excited about, like maybe this one here, you click the buy it now and that locks it up for you until you have a chance to talk to the salesman. It's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You will be notified when the next one's posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, look at the stance on this car. I just walked in and I'm like, geez, you guys can just tell this thing is slammed down. Uh, Detroit Speed is, uh, prides theirself on their, on their stance. So it has a Detroit... Uh, chassis up front is their hydro formed uh, subframe with all the high tech components. The spindles are custom. It's got a splined uh, sway bar, uh, you know, coil over adjustable gas shocks, uh, rack and pinion steering. All their best high tech stuff is up there. It has their uh, frame connectors that tie the front to the back, prevents the twisting, makes it handle real good. They're countersunk into the floor, so they're not hanging down, and it's all welded in. It has their Quadralink rear suspension set up. Uh, it's all relocated tubular control arms, uh, completely custom type sway bar set up, uh, adjustable coilover shocks. They put a bare brake system on it, so the entire brake system, lines, hoses, of course, e-brake that's all new and it has big drilled and slotted rotors uh, with orange painted calipers uh, at all four wheels. There's a little bit of orange right here that uh, they were matching. Uh, custom made exhaust by them. It's a nice fat exhaust. I don't know if it's two and a half or three inch, but it's a fat exhaust with Flowmasters. It runs neatly all the way up the back. You'll hear it in a little while. Uh, it sounds great. Custom fuel tank and you know, fuel pumps and all that system, of course, was replaced. Uh, you look up at the motor. It's an LS motor. It's all aluminum. has a high-torque starter. has a Tremec TKO 600 five-speed trans with all the good stuff, uh, a steel 
uh, flywheel, uh, hydraulic master cylinder, uh, center, floor, center force clutch, a dual friction clutch, um, you know, heavy duty scatter shield. It's got all the good stuff. It's hard to remember all of it. A uh, new custom drive shaft. It is a new nine inch rear end, not a rebuilt one, but all new. It's all gloss black, has an aluminum center section with 383 Posi gears in it. The floors, I think they completely replaced them. All new floors. It's all, all quality workmanship too. The floors are beautiful. They put in their uh, wheel well mini tubs in back. These tires in back are 12 inches wide. Um, so those tires are tucked up in there real nice. So all the metal under the car was then uh, treated with like a black rubberized uh, like uh, chip guard paint. It's nice under there. Quality workmanship. The body, fit and finish is show quality. It's excellent. Uh, there's so many pictures of them working it. And the magazine articles tell you about how they worked it. And uh, just a lot of information will come with this car. But this is all absolutely straight. You got a metal cowl hood, all clean fenders, straight, all excellent condition, real nice. All fits nice and square. No rust, no damage, no bubbles, no bumps. All of this is just super nice, clean, right on the money. Shuts like a new car. No, no emblems, nice clean look. Repainted, it's like a shadow gray on top with like a, a looks like a Cortez silver on the side. Uh, they were talking in the magazine about how much work, you know, a detail like this, how many man hours goes into this breaks it up nicely. There's an airbrushed marble effect inside the stripes here. It's hand pinstripe, the orange, and it's smooth to the touch. You barely feel it. Really nice looking detail. Of course, the paint is polished like glass. They sanded and buffed it uh, smooth and straight. And it's all laid out evenly. There is a couple, I mean, minute chips tiny. One's like the, the pin head and then two others a little bit bigger. There's like three little tiny chips right there. Uh, but other than that, paint is absolutely slick. They're Budnick wheels. Yeah, Budnick wheels. Uh, G-Force performance tires. I know they're 10 inches wide in front, 12 inches wide in back. I think they're all 18 inch tall all the way around. But yeah, look how them wheels are, are tucked up in there so nicely. Year one supplied all the trim, all the stainless, the mirrors, the handles, the wiper arms, uh, marker lights, all of that. All the glass was replaced. There is a, a surface chip right here, and there's a few light scratches on the rear window, but it was all replaced. As the Rally Sport front end with the Detroit uh, electric headlight door conversions, they zip right open and closed. High intensity halogen lights. Uh, it has some nice billet tail light bezels. So that's the outside. I got a lot more great stuff to show you. Let's open it up. All right, I'd like to show you inside the trunk. And of course the paintwork is so smooth and tidy and crisp. A new weather strip, all clean metal. A little custom fabrication right here for the rear suspension that they've put in there. And the battery is relocated to the trunk. It's a gel battery with a real nice billet hold down. Uh, it's wired up for the battery tender that will come with it. And everything's new. The latches, the housings, the rear seat uh, divider, uh, all new stuff. Well, new when they built it. There's about 4,000 miles on the car since it's been done. And they took excellent care of it. Actually, there's a little more to that story. Uh, you look at some of the pictures, and it's just a Crate 350, and it's an automatic without air. That's how the car was shown. Uh, then uh, someone bought it after the tour and took it to Detroit Speed and had them upgrade the motor and all that good stuff. So uh, the door jams are slick as can be. All the weather strips replaced. Sill plates are replaced. New door panels, armrest, window cranks. There's a little nick on the very edge on the passenger side. 
all new dash. This is a Detroit Speed metal instrument panel. That's an item that they offer. These are Dale Earnhardt Hot Rod Tour gauges. Uh, that's what it says right in there, which is cool. They light up nice. It has the vintage air vertical control panels, and it's uh, climate control. You just set the temperature, and it'll do the rest. It's got a nice stereo. And everything is new, and it all fits right. Everything is so nice. You know, working vent levers, the vents, kick panels, lights all work. Excellent. Now, this little flyer I was telling you about, I think this is so cool. How many people have their own brochure for their own car? And it's built by Detroit Speed, uh, signed by the owners of Detroit Speed, saying how proud they are of this car. This is really good stuff here, folks. Center console, they put in these 12-volt receptacles, which meant the cup where the seat belts go had to be eliminated. You know, there's pictures of a guy measuring and cutting this out and making brackets just to do that. That sounds so simple. It probably costs the shop $1,000. Uh, we got Recaro sport seats fit real nice in here. And I tell you what, they slide way back. You can be a tall guy and actually own this Camaro, which is a problem. The Camaros are pretty tight. Um, <clears throat> the back seat is upholstered to match the front seats. And if you can see the carpet, this is that nice tight square weave carpet underneath the mats. And uh, that's a nice premium carpet, nice touch. There are six by nine speakers and back under the shelf and all the trim, real nice. The headliner, the visors, the mirror, all great stuff. And this is an I, I did it tilt column, powder coated black. It's a tilt with the Budnick steering wheel. Uh, it's lined with Dynamax sound deadener, all new wiring, fuse panel, all of that was replaced when they did the car. And I can tell you the wires are all run neatly. This was a quality build. This is not tacky in any way, shape, or form. So the guy purchased it after the tour and uh, Detroit Speed, and this is all documented on their website. This is from Mast Motors. They specialize in building high-performance LS uh, motors. It's an LS3, but it's been stroked. Uh, let me get my notes here real quick. It's stroked to a 416 cubic inch. We have the dyno sheet at 590 horsepower, 554 pounds of torque. They custom fabricated these top covers here. Detroit Speed made the stainless steel headers. See how smooth and custom the firewall is? It has these really nice billet hinges that I really uh, think highly of. Just nice, smooth, clean finishes. Custom Detroit Speed Fender brackets. Uh, blacked out radiator, but it's a Be Cool aluminum radiator with an overflow. Uh, custom cover on top. Dual 11 inch spall fans. Custom cover on the, actually, it's a custom made air intake box. There's pictures of this being fabricated uh, for this car. Uh, the front runner system is all black billet brackets, serpentine belt. Uh, it's a vintage air magnum system, they call it, Gen, Gen 4. Modern power steering, power brakes, select the speed Detroit uh, wiper motor. And just nice and clean and tidy. There's no wires, and I mean, it's not sloppy at all. It's idling a little high. It's not warmed up yet. That's what it's supposed to do. Tell you what, this car will do what you want it to do. It'll corner, it'll accelerate, it'll scare your passenger. Just like that. 
So let me tell you, even that shot's nice. This is the real deal, folks. If you want that quality car, you don't have to go to a high-end shop and pay quarter million dollars and wait two or three years to get it. I'm telling you, this thing is done right in every aspect. And it's done, ready to go, and it's going to cost you a lot less than what it would uh, to go to a shop and have this built today. I guarantee Detroit Speed would uh, charge you a quarter million dollars and wait a couple of years before you see the car finished. Well, I shouldn't say guarantee that. I think that's my good guess. The paint goes right into the door jams, too. I don't think I pointed that out. There's pictures on our website, but this detail goes right in there. Go to volocars.com. This is a rare opportunity. Uh, the salesman can help answer your questions, including how to get it delivered to your door and how to get it financed if you need it at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.